So, Dragon Ball Super the card game. Does anyone play this game? <laughs> What's goody with you all today? My name is VT, and today I want to talk about that card game. As some of you may or may not know, I'm primarily a Yu-Gi-Oh player. It's my primary card game and favorite of all of them. But for the last few months, since the end of last year, I've been taking a look outside of my zone and into the territory of other card games. And I haven't just been looking at these games for first impressions, I've actually been playing these games too. These games, mainly Vanguard and Digimon, have become my side TCGs and have been occupying me when I'm not playing and covering Yu-Gi-Oh! Because as much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh! and believe me, I do, I haven't been having the most fun with it lately. <laughs> The TCG that is. I've been attending locals for these other games and getting really involved with the communities both in person at my locals and online in social spaces and platforms. Diversifying the amount of games I've been playing has really deepened my love for TCG so much more and it's taught me things that I can take back to my main TCG and improve at. My collection is also now more than just Yu-Gi-Oh! although it does get to be a bit of a pain to manage all these cards in my space now. However, in my time exploring new card games, there's been one card game in specific that I've been curious about for the longest time and I admit, I didn't think a whole lot of until now. Dragon Ball Super The Card Game is a game I've noticed multiple times and honestly, is a game I've laughed off several times before, I admit. And the reason why this is, is because I genuinely didn't think much of it. I love Dragon Ball as a whole franchise. It was the first manga I ever read to completion in high school. I've owned and played almost every single Dragon Ball game, even some of the more obscure ones. I own multiple DVD and Blu-ray sets, a whole bunch of figures, too many to count, and a lot of other merch and stuff for it. It's one of my favorite franchises of all time, but a TCG? I mean, it would make sense with it being as big a franchise as it is, but for someone like me who thoroughly enjoys playing card games, is this something that's worth my time? I initially wrote this off as just another anime card game because there's plenty of those already and you hardly hear anything about these. Note that when I say anime card games, I'm talking specifically about just your big popular anime. Games like Yu-Gi-Oh, Vanguard, and Digimon, although big and popular, are different to me since they already are about card games and collecting and trading to some extent and aspect in the actual show, so the theme is already there. But Dragon Ball and some of these other anime aren't. But let's get into this properly now. I've invested some time actually building decks with some packs that I bought on sale because not a lot of people buy DBS TCG products where I am and I'm hoping I can explain clearly why soon. And I've been learning how to play this game. And I'll be honest, I still don't fully know the ins and outs of this game just yet, but I have a good understanding of how it all works so far. Dragon Ball TCG is Bandai's other card game next to Digimon and don't you worry, I'll get to you soon. And similar to Digimon, it follows a similar flow with eliminating all your opponent's security or life points in this case to win the game and having big units on the board to overpower your opponent. Where the game differs in its mechanics is the leader cards. Leader cards are your primary units and what the rest of your deck essentially revolves around. Leader cards are double-sided and act as your lead cards but can also awaken when your life points get low enough and can activate additional effects once done so. The game also uses a resource called energy and you use energy to play additional battle cards and extra cards to combo on your field. You combo the power level of these cards onto your leader cards and the higher the power level of your leader card the bigger advantage you have when it comes to the battle. There's three phases to this game, charge phase, main phase, and end phase. The charge phase is where you draw and change any cards you have in rest mode to active mode. The main phase is where you'll be taking the most action. This involves playing your battle cards into the battle area of the board, activating any card skills you have available, awakening your leader cards, and conducting your battle phase. You pay whatever energy is required to play your battle cards and extra cards where possible and go from there. Cards can attack your opponent the moment they enter the field, which is cool. But note that you can't attack on your first turn. 
You switch your leader to rest mode when attacking and during this battle phase you can do several things to help give you an advantage like comboing, activating any available skills and awaken your leader cards if possible. And you can also do all this stuff too if you're on the defense to give yourself a fighting chance too. The damage step is where you calculate your final power levels and the winner is whoever has the highest power level after all these calculations. You lose one of your life points whenever your leader is defeated in battle. You repeat these phases and steps and that's how the game flows. It's important to know and keep track of your different card effects and get familiar with what they do as with any card game. I found there was a little more to digest in this game than with what I've been playing already. Of course, this is just the basics of the game to learn and get into. The game is so much deeper once you actually get into it and start experimenting with different cards and deck builds. Now, what I like about the game is the leader card mechanic. Like I said before, your deck basically revolves around this one card, so it was important for me to be a bit more careful about my deck building process with it. I also like how the game integrates transformations and different forms like in the anime into the game as a mechanic through the evolve effects. I thought this was kinda cool. There is a lot more to this game than I initially thought, and I'll admit, I was very surprised at how deep it can actually be. The game art is also killer. Dragon Ball and its style is something I've tried to learn hard over the years in my own art journey, so being able to see all this cool art on these cards is really awesome. It's a big plus to me whenever a card game has good art to accompany it. The rarities are nicely done, especially the super rares and secret rares. These cards look great and I actually even have a few of them on display. This art side of stuff is important to me because sometimes it can be the main draw of a game for me to get hooked and I think they do a great job in this area for this game so props to Bandai for this. One thing I wanted to point out for the game was that it was a little difficult for me to find the perfect starting point. Now, after a little bit of research and finding some recent sets, I was okay to go from there. But this game has gone through a lot of format changes and has introduced quite a few new mechanics along the way, like with the unison thing which was the most recent new addition at the time of me making this video. In fact, at the time of releasing this video, a new set just got announced and even that's looking to change things up a bit. Also, because DBS TCG products don't really move over here where I am, there were a bunch of structured decks on the shelves and I wanted to pick some up but I didn't know at first which ones were still usable or viable for playing and which ones weren't. But the decks have numbers on them to show how recent they are so I just chose the highest numbered ones which were the most recent start decks at the time. Deck building was actually a bit of a struggle for me this time around too because I'm still getting used to all these effects and what they do. I think in general I just need to play this game more to understand more of course. Now with that, overall I think to me personally, Dragon Ball Super the card game isn't a game I'll be sticking with as consistently as some of my other side TCGs, but it's definitely a game I'll be keeping my eyes on for a bit. I think for me, this is a card game that I'm more into the collecting side of things. I mentioned earlier how cool I think these cards look and how they're the first cards I've displayed properly on my setup. There's a big collector side to this game and I think that's why I haven't found as active a player base as some other card games. Some of these cards are some of the most expensive cards I've seen in TCGs and some of them I've been told aren't even that good to play but because they just look really cool they're worth the price tag they carry. Like some of these sets are really expensive and go for so much. I know this is natural to happen in most TCGs as time goes by, but this game has some of the biggest price climbs I have ever seen. I personally don't think I'll be investing a heap into this game. I just want the cool looking cards and to have some decks to play when I get more of an opportunity to do so against others. When I started going to locals again for the first time and saw these cards for the first time, I genuinely asked multiple times, does anyone play this game? And I know I've said that enough times that it sounds like a meme at this point, but I'm genuinely asking, like I'm being serious. Chokes aside, I've seen people play all sorts of card games at my locals outside the big main ones. Even all the obscure ones I haven't heard much of, but to this day, I'm yet to see a single person holding a DBS card in their hand. I know the community is there and definitely exists, but I'm yet to find them. Huh? But yet, I hear most of the times the people that do purchase DBS cards and products, where I am at least, are mainly in it for the collector's aspect, which is great because that's an important part of any TCG. 
And I think that's the stance that I'll be taking on this game too. These cards are very pretty and they look great in my binders and display and it's amplified by how much I love the Dragon Ball franchise as a whole. But it's also nice to note that once I do find a community I can play with and learn from, I'll be ready. To conclude, the Dragon Ball Super Card game is a lot cooler than I gave it credit for initially. I genuinely want to play more of this game hopefully and reach out and find the community for this game. But until I do, I still like the look of these cards enough to keep them around if only to just look at them. If any of you guys have played or have experience with this game, let me know what your thoughts are about this game. I'm genuinely curious to hear people's thoughts and I hope it can be a game that I look at more than a few times to play and just for fun here and there. So that's my overall thoughts on the DBS TCG. I had a lot of fun putting this video together once I started actually researching and getting into the game and I hope you enjoyed it too. This video was part of a small series I call Let's Learn to Play. It's a very small series where I take a look at a different card game outside of my zone of Yu-Gi-Oh, play it for a bit and give my initial thoughts and impressions. But like I said, some of these games I've gone on to play seriously like Digimon and Vanguard so I'm looking forward to doing more of these with the more games I look at. If you like this video, do feel free to check out my Twitch channel too. I talk about and cover a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and TCGs in general and I run Master Duel Rooms every week so do feel free to stop by. But just like last time when we looked at Vanguard, I thought it would be cool to do a quick unboxing on here too. So I'll be taking a look at a set today and further looking into some of these cards and seeing what cool shiny cards we can pull. So let's do it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna be taking a look at one box of Rise of the Unison Warrior. I'm gonna get I'm I'm, I'm gonna start unboxing this straight away. I got this. Hold up. We're already failing. Yeah, uh, I actually took a look at this set for the first time. Uh, it's been about a week now at the release of this video um, since my last stream, but this is the first time that I looked at this box with Dragon Ball Super cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into this. Um, I kind of know what to expect. We got a lot of really cool cards from that last time, so I want to see if I can, if we can chase any of the uh, additional like secret rares and anything that we didn't get from the last time. So here it is. Here's our box topper. Uh, Mechi, Mechi Kabura, uh, the Broken Seal. Okay, this card, this, this card actually looks kind of decent. Uh, I'm gonna put that there, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna separate the packs. So right side here, left side over there, bring them together. Uh, and I'm gonna get started with, uh, let's see, right side. We always go right side first. We always go right side first. So uh, I'm gonna go kind of sort of fly through these packs in a little bit. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I just wanna, I just wanna take a closer look at these cards uh, a little bit and just see what else we can just grab from this. Uh, so uh, here we go. First pack. Let's go. Frieza, Colossal Dynamo, Trunks, uh, Ultimate Power Piccolo, Mai. I've got like a billion Mai's. We pulled like ten. <laughs> The, the first time that I was opening this pack, uh, we pulled... Ooh, okay! Goku Black Rose, uh, Lofty Aspirations. This card is actually pretty neat. Um, the, the artwork. I'm talking about mainly the artwork. I'm still trying to get used to a lot of these effects. Um, I know how to play the game to a to a pretty decent level now. I wouldn't say I'm 100% comf... Oh my gosh, hold up. Okay, I wouldn't say I'm 100% comfortable with uh you know my my skill in the game if if i played like a proper game uh and got challenged uh i definitely could hold my own um but you know there's still a lot of things that i'm still learning about this game but you know uh learning this game over the past Ooh, okay this is our first uh sr of the box uh so super saiyan gold tanks absolute unison i don't believe i pulled this last time so this one this one is brand brand new so this one is really neat yep <laughs> i like that i like that but yeah what was i saying yeah no uh i would say i'm uh, at an okay level uh in terms of like comfortability with like playing the game but this past month of actually like looking at this game as i have just like mentioned everything in the video uh has been really really fun uh <laughs> this game has definitely subverted my expectations <laughs> quite a bit and i'm really happy that it has uh because i love being proven wrong when it comes to oh yo hey yo wolfang fist yamcha our next sr this this actually looks really sick look at yamcha 
Look at Yamcha rocking that short haircut. He actually looks really cool in that. That's actually really neat. I gotta, I, I gotta make sure I, I, uh, I sleeve these up ASAP. Um, but yeah, yeah, continuing on. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, having a look at this game. And it's not like I'm gonna, like, put this game down and, like, never look at it again or anything like that. Um, but this is definitely a game that I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on, uh, like I said. Uh, so, Secret Identity Masked Saiyan. Secret Identity? Who is this guy? I... <sighs> Secret Identity? Yeah, nah, Identity be a real secret to me. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, nah, this is gonna be a game that I'm definitely gonna be 100% keeping my eyes on, uh, because... Uh, I'll definitely be picking up, picking up these sets as they come out, hopefully. Uh, no rush or anything. Uh, the cards in there are just really, really cool. Uh, plus, if I decide to knuckle down and, you know, commit to, you know, going all in with the game, which I probably will not, <laughs> um, then it's good to know that I've got some really nice cards uh, to get started with. Um, I've been told by a few people uh, of some of the cards that I showed them that some of the cards I have on hand are really, really good. I just don't know it. <laughs> I just do not know it yet. Um, so it's it's really good to have something that I'll be able to like put together. I've already constructed some decks uh, for myself. Some some very basic basic decks. Uh, Counter Blast on Gohan, nice. Uh, God Slicing Black Kamehameha, nice. Yeah, I've already constructed some decks for myself beyond just uh, you know the. Structured decks and starter decks, which I, I I I got just to kind of like get myself started. I did construct um, a few decks of my own. Nothing super special. Nothing uh, super unique. Uh, for the most part, I got a lot of help with it <laughs> online. But I'm happy that it's uh, something that I can call my own. Uh, I love deck building. Deck building is is something that's just really really fun for me to do. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just, it's really cool to know that, you know, for all these TCGs that I've been looking at and playing, you know, uh, deck construction has been something that's really fun. So whenever I am getting into these games, like fully and properly, I'm going to have some stuff to like go, go to, to play with. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Anyway, um, but yeah, surely, uh, sure, sure it might not be the most like, you know, meta competitive, you know, I, 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 I'll, I'm going to do my best to stay as meta relevant and competitive as i can but uh with a game like this that i really don't plan to invest a lot in no promises <laughs> definitely no promises uh but these cards are just like really cool Ooh, okay uh we got the ox king okay nice i, I i'm still not 100 percent well versed with the uh rarities in the dbs tcg so i'm still kind of uh i i, I know what you know like the big ones are like uh, SCRs, uh, and SRs, and stuff like that, uh, like, SP, I think it's SPRs? This, this game has, like, a dozen, uh, different, a dozen different, um, <laughs> rarities, so, it's, it, it was something, it was something for me to get used to, uh, it was quite the jump for me to get used to, because, you know, I'm coming from a game like Yu-Gi-Oh!, and that game, uh, already had, oh, yo! Super Saiyan Trunks, God Ceiling. This is this is another one that I didn't get last time, man. Th this is this is our SPR. This is our first SPR for the box. This is actually, this actually looks really really cool, yo, yo. Oh my gosh, hang on, let me get uh, let me get a closer look at the day. He looks kind of clean though. That looks really nice. That looks really. Oh my gosh, I got I I gotta sleeve him up like, ASAP. But I don't have my sleeves nearby. <laughs> the only sleeves that I have like within reach right now are like the small size ones for like Yu-Gi-Oh and Vanguard. Uh, but I do not have my standard size sleeves, which is for DBS and uh, everything else in between like D DBS, Digimon. Uh, I'm not sure what size magic cards use, uh, whether they're standard or small, but I don't know. We'll cross that bridge <laughs> once we get there. Um, so Krillin, potential unlocked, nice. Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Paralyzing Prowse. This is a card that I want, uh, in, in this rarity, in the, uh, in the, in the rare. I want this card in a rare. Sorry, this is a rare. What am I talking about? I want, I want it to be shiny. <laughs> I want the shiny version, uh, of that card. Hold up. Let me just sort all of these 
uh, nicely so that it's not a gigantic mess that's piling up on the desk. All right, there we go. Uh, nice and sorted. Uh, and that's gonna be our last card for that pack. I've, I've, I've definitely enjoyed my time uh, looking at this game for the past month. Uh, I'm really happy that I did decide to give it a shot because again, like this game has surprised me a lot more than I expected it to. Uh, the card artwork on this, on um, on these cards is really flipping off. <laughs> it's, it's really, really cool. I really like it. So uh, yeah, oh, Pilaf Machine, the Master Bot, nice. Uh, and go tanks the power of fusion and final pack for right side we're gonna go ahead and get this thing open um oh nice let's see there we go there we go um so i'm kind of just flicking through these cards just because i don't want to extend this video to be a lot longer than it needs to be but i do want to get my um my sort of thoughts out and stuff that I may have not mentioned before. Uh, but yeah, no, the card artwork in this stuff is is really, really cool. Uh, that's one reason that the... That's one reason why the game pulled me in in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the left side. So we've pulled out our first SPR. Um, and uh, I believe our... I, I believe every box comes with two SPRs, if I'm not mistaken. Again, uh, I still don't know like how the uh, contents and stuff work for Dragon Ball Super TCG fully yet. Uh, but if it's anything like Digimon, then I should be quite familiar with... Uh, what is going on? Well, you'd like to think so, but really, I'm not. Um, but yeah, no, these cards are really, really cool. Oh, yo! Okay, nice! Uh, that, that actually looks really nice for an uncommon. Um, so, Sin Shenron, Negative Energy Overflow, that actually looks really neat. Um, and we've got Frieza, Dark Infestation. Uh, and then moving on to the next side. Yeah, uh, so I actually have another box uh, of the DBS TCG, uh, which I am yet to open. I'm trying to decide if I should open it straight away uh, or if I should hold off for a little bit with it. But um, at the time of the release of this video, again, uh, depending on how this kind of ages, uh, the Realm of the Gods is the current booster set. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on one of those booster boxes as well. Uh, and I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was really fortunate because it was one of the last boxes available. And yo, this Son Goku looks really, really clean. Oh my gosh, this is, this is also an SR. So this actually looks really nice too. The SR version of this card is, is very neat to look at. Let me go ahead and uh, sort that pile out. But yeah, no, I was able to get my hands on a booster box of Realm of the Gods. So I'm still trying to decide what I should do with that box, uh, whether I should open it, uh, and if I do, uh, where I should open it. Uh, but for now, oh my gosh, for now, if I can get this pack open, <laughs> there we go. But for now, uh, I've decided to just kind of like keep it uh, sealed and stored really nicely away because uh, I've been told and I, I, it was just a, a genuine feeling of mine of this is one of those sets that's definitely going to go up in value like as the as the months or as the years go by. But I don't know. I'm not 100% familiar with the DBS TCG card market. Uh, I have been doing my research as best as I can, but the prices in... The DBS TCG are ridiculous, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. So um, yeah, I again, I don't know how much I'm going to be investing into this game. Probably not a lot, probably not a lot. Um, beyond this, if I'm, if I'm still grabbing cards, I'm probably just going to be grabbing singles just to collect the ones that look really cool. Uh, I have three singles uh, right here on my on my setup right now. Hang on, let me see if I can grab them real quick. Hold up. Okay, so these are actually the single cards that I have uh, just for display. These were some of the first cards that I owned because I I got these just like as singles because they just looked so cool. Plus it's the fusions. Like who doesn't love fusions in Dragon Ball? <laughs> who doesn't love any of these three guys? Uh, by the way, Vegito is the uh, best fusion. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they look really, really cool on my setup as well, uh, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, again, that was that was that was a big thing that kind of like spurred me to 
so if I get into this game, I'm like, yo, these cars actually look really, really nice. Let me see if I can actually uh, try to get into the actual game. Although I do play, although I do collect the game, I do want to be able to uh, play it, like, enough, though. Uh, but again, uh, it's just a matter of finding community because the uh, community for the DBS TCG, uh, for some reason, is hard to find. And I've heard that from multiple people. Yo, let's go. Speaking of the best fusion, Vegito Infinite Radiance. Yo, this card is actually so cool. I've gotten a lot of the cards that uh, I wasn't able to pull the first time around with this box. So this is actually really cool, knocking a lot of the uh, cards off the list. Yeah, no, although I love this, this game purely just for the collecting, I do want to be able to play this game at least to a, like, competent enough level. Um, so, yeah, that's why I really tried to, you know, do my best and just put my head down and really try to learn this. Uh, not just by myself, but, you know, I asked a few of the people, like, at my locals and stuff like that, uh, if any of them have experience. Uh, because a lot of them are Digimon players. So, I, I thought to ask about, like, you know, what about Bandai's other card game? What about, uh, Dragon Ball? Like, uh, is anybody experienced with that? And, you know, I got some, I got some helpful tips. I got some helpful advice. Uh, there was only about, like, one person that plays the game actively. <laughs> uh, and he told me some things about like the DBS TCG community and stuff uh, But like yeah, the, it's, it's just really hard to uh, Find the community for this game. Yo another uh, Yamcha Yamcha Merciless Barrage another Yamcha SR yo These <laughs> these cars are really doing Yamcha justice like look at how cool he looks in this Plus you've got like the claw marks that are like textured and stuff like that. That's really cool. I love how they do that. Let me get my hand out of the way so that it's it's, it's properly visible. And it's got like that rainbow shine effect over it. Like these cards are so cool. <laughs> Only a few packs left. But yeah, being able to play this game whenever I can uh, is really cool. So I, mean, I will be trying to play. Wait, what, what? Hold up. Hold, whoa, bring that back. Hold, hang on. I be wait a minute. It's a god pack. Yo, this is this is a god pack. Oh my gosh. So god packs, I wow, this is my first time with the god pack. So god packs include all rare cards. Yeah, wow. It's a it's an entire pack of just god of just really rare cards. That's actually really cool. Majin Buu Wickedness Incarnate. Um, is there gonna be a yo? Okay. Uh, Frieza Colossal Dynamo. These cards just look a lot cooler when they're shinier. And the Boma Bunny Girl. I now have three of these. Uh, I received one of these for a box topper. Uh, and then we pulled another one in the actual box last time. Oh, the first time that I streamed this. And now here's my third one. Uh, and that's our SR. And here, oh my gosh, here's our other SR. Super Saiyan Gogeta Dynamic Youth. This is cool. This is cool. I am really happy to have this. And here's another one of those uh, Son Goku Rival Seek. Yo, this is sick. We pulled our first God Pack. That's actually really cool. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the way it works is you get one God Pack per pack. But if you get a God Pack, that means that you're not going to get your... Wait. At your, your SR, but we got our SRs right here, so I'm not sure how that works fully. Um, somebody that's a little bit more knowledgeable on this can let me know later. Um, but yeah, no, that's actually that's actually really really cool. Let me put these all uh, in the same pile as all the rares. Uh, I'm gonna be making sure that I sleep these up uh, as soon as this is done. I have enjoyed it so much just looking, not not just like collecting these cards but like looking at them and just adding them to my binder because uh i have a mini uh dbs tcg binder um and it's not the it's not the same size as like my regular binders which fit like a bunch of cards i got a mini binder because uh like i said before i'm not going to be investing that much into this into this uh card game i'm mainly just going to be buying like packs or singles mainly just for, like for the collecting factor because these cards again Look really, really cool, but it has been so much fun. Feeling yes. Yo, let's go! Let's go! There he is! Blue boy! It's Yosha Blue! Vegito, unison of might! As our second SPR, I am so happy! Oh my god! Hang on, let me get a look at this guy. 
Vegito, Unison of Might. I really wish we got that alt art. Unison of Might, like the one that pops up on the uh, gold card segment. But this is really, really cool. Having this is actually really, really cool. My favorite character or favorite characters. Uh, favorite fusion, you know, oh man, this this actually, oh man, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find these sleeves like ASAP as soon as I'm finished with this. Alright, we only got three more packs to go, so I'm gonna pick the middle pack right here, and we're gonna put the remaining two aside. Yeah, wow, see, <laughs> everything that I'm literally talking about this game is just, it's just, it's just being showcased, like these cards look really cool, but, um, yeah, I've got a mini binder uh, where I just put like all my really cool looking and like really shiny cards and that's it. And then the rest of the uh, cards that I that I have that I'm not using for decks. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold, hold up, hold up. Shenron Unison of Rescue. This looks so cool. What the heck? What? I was, I was not expecting to get like all of these really cool cards but oh what the heck this actually looks mad cool shenron unison of rescue look at the way that gold just pops man the rarities in these cards is it's insane it's it's so cool man i can't wait i can't wait to put them all away all right and number one over here uh oh man two packs left two packs left all right can we can we get any anything ridiculous uh i, I don't think so we've already pulled uh both sprs and i believe we've got all our like srs that are included in this box um so the rest of this is just gonna be uh just kind of like whatever but i'm still really happy uh to have all of these cards so yeah um the cards that i'm not using for decks i i have like a, a big bulk box where i put everything away <laughs> uh but again it's, it's gonna be really cool just for like a card library to put away this card is really cool uh son goku and hit supreme alliance not only does the artwork for this card look really intense uh like really really cool uh, but I was able to pull the... I don't know what... Again, I'm not well versed with uh, Dragon Ball Super rarities. But I was able to pull like the really shiny version of this card uh, the first time around when I opened my first box. So um, I believe I have like three copies of this card now. Th this card is... The artwork on this card is just really, really, really cool. Um, so yeah, sure. I'll grab another one. And here we are with our lucky last pack. Uh, we've got Sin Shenron. All right, what can you give me? What can you give me? Here we go. Yeah, nah, this the this game has been really cool. Uh, I'm really glad I, I gave it a shot again. If I haven't said that already, I've probably said that like a million times at this point, but I'm really happy that I did give this game a chance. All right, here we go. Final pack. Let's see. Okay, we got Time Bullet, Super Saiyan Broly, Legendary Unison, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Blaze of Passion, Absolute Confidence, uh, Innocent Princess Chi Chi, Son Goku, uh, Technique Chain, Son Goku, uh, Mira, Explosion of Energy, Zarbon, Victory over Beauty, Pan the Earnest, and yo, let's go. Uh, Son Goku, Power of Legend. This looks, hold up, hold up. This looks really nice for an uncommon. My goodness, plus the artwork. Again, the artwork, it's too on point. Uh, and our final card is going to be Yamcha gracing us one more time um, in 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 the rare. Uh, so Yamcha, the desert hyena. Um, yeah, that's it. Like wow. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Let me just get these all the way over here. All right. So that's gonna do it for the unboxing. Uh, this is the really really nice collection of rares that we just pulled from here. And man, again. These cards are actually like so amazing to look at uh, and just the way the cards are textured as well like this this looks really cool and what's really cool about uh, a lot of these cards that I just pulled just now is I didn't pull any of these the first time around so this is like all new so I've 
almost almost nearly completed uh the collection for this set but again i'm not gonna be looking to buy another one of these boxes i was fortunate enough to grab two boxes the first time around anyway uh in conclusion do check out the dbs tcg it's actually really cool I i've had a lot of fun uh playing and learning this game over the past couple of months uh i've gotten a really cool collection over uh of, of cards <laughs> as the time has gone by as well and plus this game is kind of just fun like uh, even just as a side tcg or even as your main tcg you know if it's uh your first tcg uh fans of dragon ball uh and just fans of card games in general uh this is definitely something to give attention to i really like this game i've really enjoyed myself with this game uh but yeah with all of that being said uh, i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i really hope you guys enjoyed uh this segment as well uh, thank you so much for checking this out again uh dbs tcg do take a look at it do play it uh and yeah thanks again for checking out the video i really appreciate you guys and yeah i'll catch you guys around on the next one see ya